the exhibition is about my work with child soldiers in Colombia, which I've been documenting since the beginning of 2014. The idea started out of basically out of luck. I was doing an, an assignment for the International Red Cross uh, and I was doing the profile of a um, delegate in, in Chocó. And while we were there, we had the opportunity to visit one of the camps of the ELN. And I had the opportunity to see uh, up and close about 20 uh, teenagers wearing weapons. And that's how I later came back with these images and started to think, you know, what's behind all that? So once the children demobilize from a group, uh, they have about uh, one or two year period where they're in an attention center and that's how I got to meet them uh, and to hear their stories. And what I did, or I, what I've been doing is I've been following the ones who have been leaving the centers and to see what happens to them in their civilian life. So Jaime was recruited uh, earlier last year um, and he was recruited by FARC and he was there for almost six months. Not a very long time. Uh, his mother is just kind of wishing him very good luck because he's going to have this ritual where it's a ritual of cleansing. This is how the community embraces the children once they are in a group that they come back into their community. So this is for the NASA community. It's an indigenous community that is in Cauca and the Pacific Coast. And it's rarely, very rare to have access to this. I'm grateful for the uh, CRC to, to be giving me this award, but I think it's more important it's because it's given visibility to an issue that has not been widely reported in the news, uh, especially now that Colombia is transitioning to a hopefully a peaceful time. And so for me, I think this is important that people start to see this and are aware that, that this is happening in the Western Hemisphere, because usually we tend to think of child soldiers in Africa or in the Middle East or in Asia, but nothing in, in the Western Hemisphere.